This is a spoiler warning. In this show, we'll be discussing the husbands of River Song. So if you haven't seen this year's Christmas special, go and have a watch, then come back here. This is The Fan Show. <laughs> I'm Crystal D. And I'm Luke Spillan. Merry Christmas and welcome to The Fan Show. Joining us to discuss the husbands of River Song is actor, comedian and everyone's favourite grunt, Bethany Black. Hello. And also comedian, Jake Yap. Hello. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks. So we've uh, seen the Christmas episode. Guys, let's start mm, yes. with our favourite moments. What were yours? I, I loved every second of it. I would loved seeing Matt Lucas. Uh, you know, I've sort of missed him. You know, I haven't mm -hmm. seen much of him lately, and uh, that was great to see. And I loved seeing Greg Davis as well. I was a bit, uh, I sort of, what's the point in putting Greg Davis in a massive giant suit? Have you seen the man <laughs> yeah, in real yeah. life? <laughs> like, he doesn't need a yeah. giant suit. I once, I, I'm not saying this to boast, but I, I, or any, but I, I was in a swimming pool, and he was in it. So, like, <laughs> half the water was out of it. Like, but, um, <laughs> I went into the, the changing rooms after he'd already got out. I thought, there's no way I'm going, you know, I sort of waited in the pool, treading water. And then I went out into the dressing rooms and I turned around the corner into the shower section just as he was coming round it, like with just a towel on. And it's just a monolith of a man. <laughs> it was absolutely terrifying. It was so, it was kind of scarier than that episode, really. <laughs> and then he removed his head. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was freaky. Yeah, his metal body. So yeah, that, that was a bit. It was, so yeah, I thought that was kind of good casting, but you just didn't need the props. <laughs> the end made me cry. Um, oh. That was that was my bit. I sat here going, I'm not, I'm not crying. I'm, I don't cry. It's just the wind. It's just no. the wind. It's just the wind. So I'm going to go and punch some things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think for me, it was uh, definitely the doctor going to the TARDIS and it being oh, on yeah. the inside. Like, yeah. how long have we waited for that? Like, yeah. 52 yeah. years of like, can the doctor do it? And that moment where he's just like, this is how you do turn. it. Yeah. It's yeah. my turn. This what was is it? How you yeah. Do it properly. <laughs> yeah, this reevaluated my idea of space. <laughs> uh, I loved it. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Yeah. So good. So yeah. great. And you can just see like Peter having fun doing that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought that was the lovely thing about the show is that I, th I think you could sense that it, it was kind of like a Christmas party for them. Like everyone was letting their hair down. It's been such a kind of heavy yeah. themed series that you could sort of, well, they deserved a bit of fun yeah. Yeah. for Christmas, really. This was well, the yeah. Christmas panto, wasn't it? Well, actually, you know, throughout series nine, we have had quite, you know, a dark series and there's been a lot of loss, there's been a lot of uh, grief. Um, and even last Christmas was yeah. quite melancholic. Mm. So was it refreshing for you guys uh, to have such a light, uh, funny episode? Yeah, Definitely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was good, like you know, like we were saying, like it, it was good to have like a panto this year because I think last year it was very dark. We had Nick Frost being brilliant as Father Christmas, which was great, yeah. and that changed it up. But this year it was just let's just let rip with having fun, and it felt like real. That's kind of what you want on Christmas Day, isn't it? it? Is, like yeah. you want a bit of the tears, you want a, cry, a little cry at the end. That's lovely. It kind of felt a little bit like a heart back to one of the uh, David Tennant stories. Yeah, it absolutely. Kind of felt, it had yeah. that fun. Um, that fun in it, which which yeah. perhaps actually haven't seen for a while, I think. I also, I, I quite liked that they sort of they weren't sort of trying to reach for some kind of Christmassy theme. I because you know mm. I remember like you know oh the Christmas trees are alive, oh yeah, the yeah. tinsel's made of snakes, yeah. you know, and it was yeah. kind of nice. <laughs> it was kind of nice that they they didn't bother with any of that. They just did a really good story, and perhaps mm. the story. If there's that one they thing wanted. I've learned yeah. from watching Doctor Who over the years is if you're in a shopping centre and you hear a brass band strike up, just yeah. run, just run, 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 run. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And I guess it was quite nice to see Peter Capaldi do fast because we've not really mm. seen this kind of performance yeah. um, before, I, I guess, from this Doctor. So um, did you enjoy seeing Peter Capaldi play a different kind of Doctor? Loved it. I, I always think, like, I'm a massive fan of his comedy work over the years and just seeing him um, getting into that sort of very naturalistic... Uh, just him being, it kind of felt like Peter being himself and mm. just being silly, yeah, yeah. being I, daft and fun. I think it was summed up well with that line, wasn't it? The Doctor went, I haven't laughed in ages. But and so you true. just, you totally agree. You're like, yeah, God. No, I've right, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to, I, because that was the funniest yeah. Doctor who's been in so long. Yeah. And it was so nice to have that. It's what you want on Christmas Day. So it, it was definitely. It was a refreshing change and it was nice to go back to it. He had so many yeah. like one liners, like, you know, when the guy tore his head open in the restaurant yeah. and went, recommend you probably shouldn't do that in a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. you know? It's like, so good. It was, yeah, I've missed that. Yeah, and I guess um, after the events of Hellbent, um, mm. you know, he, he's had his memory erased from Clara. Mm. All, of, all of that is gone. And I think this is the first time, really, 
we've seen the twelfth Doctor uh, let loose. Re- let loose, yeah, and, and you know, and this is, I think, the the you know twelfth Doctor's uh, almost true self. Like we're mm. starting to see. Um, you know, series eight, it was Am I a Good Man? Series nine, it was Clara. It was Midlife Crisis. Now yeah. he's, you know, been, he's on his own. He's able to be himself and be free, which is nice. Like we said at the ending of the series nine, those moments where he gets the screwdriver and puts the jacket on, yeah. and you feel like, oh, he's the Doctor now, and yeah. this feels like a new beginning. I kind yeah. of want this fun to stay. It's, yeah, it it's does. Good, it, it kind of feels like there's always that, um, and, and when a new Doctor comes along, and you see it in, in every single one of them, the first couple of episodes when they're finding their feet, yeah. and, and and then they land. I like. That it's that it's taken. That it kind of feels like that point, yeah. and I mm. like that they've taken more time over that because it, yeah. it gives you a little bit more. Um, it allows you to get close to it. I mean, you've been on such an emotional journey with him, it's, you know, throughout season eight and then through season nine with everything getting so dark. Yeah. I agree. I, I think it's really brave uh, of the writers, and I, I think that it, it must be so hard. I mean, I, I know this isn't well when you think of. James Bond, you know, when they brought in Daniel Craig. And, you know, people were signing petitions saying, do not, you can't, what, Daniel, yeah. what? You yeah. know, and, Bond from the Wirral. And, and yeah. now, yeah, <laughs> everyone is sort of saying, oh, it's the best Bond, best Bond has ever been, best yeah. Bond. I always said that, I always said that. You know, and they were lying. And <clears throat> I think it's difficult with Peter Capaldi. It's like everyone knows him. Everyone sort of has a relationship with him. And so it must have been so hard to, to marry that with Doctor Who and make it work. And I think... It was really brave of the writers to, to, like you say, to kind of let's just take a breath, let's just write some stuff that we want to write, and 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 trust that everyone will come with us. And, and I think everyone did. And I think I spilled my drink again. I am honestly, <laughs> I, you cannot imagine. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've been waiting a long time to tell everyone what I think. About that. Sorry, um, <laughs> it's it's just cola. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I think that um, as you say, I think m- maybe they've sort of reached that kind of high watermark with mm. it now where they can mm. kind of I mean that was it when they announced Peter Capaldi like before they announced Peter Capaldi when you knew that there was a new doctor coming mm. and then they were like right okay they're going to have the they're going to have the show announcing it and then the odds and then suddenly Peter Capaldi showed up in, in the odds and it was yeah. like and I was like oh they're not going to choose him so this is going to be really rubbish yeah. this is yeah, yeah. oh yeah. this has made me really angry because yeah. it's probably going to be <laughs> They're probably going to get Rupert Grintin or someone to do it, <laughs> and I'm not going to be happy with that. And um, and then you know, and then for them to announce that it was Peter Capaldi, yeah, 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 Um And and I really feel that he's it, like the way that the character has developed over this series, especially. Mm. Mm. We're starting to see sort of like some of the best performances that Peter Capaldi has ever put in. Absolutely. Yeah, and doing that, and it's also really weird being in it. As well, having been mm. such a fan of it my entire life, getting to be in an episode of Doctor Who is oh, like well. it's like being a character in Doctor Who, in that the most exciting thing that is ever gonna happen in the whole of your life happens over a short period of time and the doctor is involved uh-huh. and you have a look <laughs> at the TARDIS and then you get spat out and you're back in the real world and he's off continuing to have adventures whilst oh. you're trying to come to terms with everything that's happened to you. It's 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 so strange. That is such a good analogy for being in Doctor yeah. Who, that's perfect. Hey, you know, immortality is watching other people die. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about River Song, because she's back. Um, and with a different Doctor, which I thought was really interesting. And, and when River Song was announced that she'd be in it, I thought, well, this is going to be uh, fun to see a new dynamic. So, did, I mean, did yeah. you enjoy seeing this dynamic? Cause it's very different, isn't it? I loved seeing it. I absolutely loved seeing her back as well. I think she's such a fantastic uh, character. I do think, I, I don't know if you've ever seen um, The Millionaire Matchmaker. Have you ever seen that yes. show? I love it's, that show. It's, it's this <laughs> woman uh, called Patty Stanger, is it? Yeah. And she, she basically hooks up millionaires right. uh, who can't date because they're all idiots. And, um, and she sort of really hectors them. And one of the things she bangs on about the most is you've got these like 55-year-old guys uh, and they're all saying, I like girls who may be 21, 22. And she keeps saying, you need someone age appropriate. Yeah. And I feel like with Doctor Who, it's like, finally, they're almost age appropriate. I mean, not quite, yeah. but, you know, at least it's a bit closer because, it, you know, it's a bit weird. Like Matt Smith was like a yeah. toy boy. And now yeah. then, you know, there was the Doctor with Clara and it was all a bit weird. You know, yeah. almost age appropriate. Yeah, which is good. It's, it's interesting because I, I mean, personally, when I heard Rivers back, I was like, oh, okay, right. 
I'd be interested to see what what story is going to be told here because I kind of felt like after Name of the Doctor and we saw her final appearance after what she you know she died after her first appearance with David Tennant and so it was like okay that story is told now mm. uh, so I was excited to see her with the new Doctor but to see what that story I, I mean after seeing it I'm like well that I mean that story the Singing Towers Derillion was like first mentioned when she first appeared and then last it was so nice mm. to see that. Like the last, and I do feel like now is the last part of her story, and I really enjoyed her. Yeah, I do. I, I, yeah, I, I really liked that, and I, the, the, the singing towers, and and that just that that thing when you know that it's the end of a relationship, yeah. that yeah. thing of knowing beforehand. Is, yeah. is so, it? I mean, is it? Is it? Well, it is because the next thing that she so. does, they say in that the next thing she did was, was she goes to the, the library, library yeah, and, and then, then she, she dies, and that's her last. Yeah. And the but there's 24 there. years, right? There's 24. Well, that, years. that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. a night on Derillium is 24 years. So, got 24 so. years on Derillium. So if they want to, they can go back and do. Or you know, they could go. All oh, right, actually, let's go and jump back a bit in her timeline. <laughs> Yeah, Again. I hope so because I, I would really hate to think that was the end of her character. I well, would I mean, hate that. Yeah, well, no. I mean, I, what I mean is like the end of her story, and that we've kind of seen right, this sort right. of linear. We've seen the beginning and end of her now, yeah. in a sense. But now she's this brilliant character. We can always pop into. It. Well, we always could have done that anyway. Pop into her whenever and wherever. But uh, it's nice to have seen her story has now been told. I yeah. Think. It's not too hung up on on their relationship. It's just very at the very end you get this beautiful realization and this, uh, I guess you know, happy ending. Um, but the the episode is not too hung up on that, which is really and nice. That old irritable I'm, bowel again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're tunneling. Um, I do think um, you know if you're married to Doctor Who, like it's going to be really weird at parties when you meet a GP or something, like because. You, you, surely she would have been a bit more wise if someone keeps saying, I'm the doctor. Wouldn't you kind of twig? You know, if you were at a party mm. and you say, well, what do you do for a living? I'm a doctor. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Like, aren't you going to be looking out for that's, your husband? That's like, the reason you why go. she's forgot, because she's gone through that social so situation many. so many times. <laughs> yeah. like, just kissing random yeah. dogs and be like, God, yeah. so good I'm to see you again. Not falling for that again. Not falling for that, yeah. yeah. Well, I think she didn't, she didn't know that uh, the doctor would get another incarnation. I think she honestly yes. didn't believe. Yes, I mean, when they oh, hold the, yeah. the yeah. very long oyster card yeah, roll out. He should be Michael Jason now. Technically, yes. But but yeah, so it was. It was. It was. I think it was nice that she didn't recognise him. I quite enjoyed that. Actually, I thought there was so much fun to be had because we were talking, you know, about the uh, the reversal of roles in this story. Is actually quite fascinating that the Doctor is the one saying spoilers, and the Doctor is the one, you know, getting to enter the TARDIS and be the companion, commenting on the Sonic. Yeah, and says the Doctor says hello, sweetie. The you know, the Doctor is utterly the companion. He's he's Rivers' role as as she has Mm. been previously. So it was nice to see that. Reversal. Yeah. Well, we've got Matt Lucas and uh, Greg Davis playing guest roles, and what's what what I thought was really good is is uh, we do quite often have uh, a lot like comedians come into Doctor Who, and you blink and you miss them. Um, <laughs> but this time, you know, Greg Davis and Matt Lucas get really meaty parts, parts, a lot yeah. of dialogue, and they're incredibly funny as well. Did you enjoy uh, the performances? It was great. I think, like you said, you know, we've had like Arabella Weir, Bill Bailey. Like, the, I mean, they were in the, the Christmas special two, three years ago, and they disappeared. Like Bill Bailey and mm. Arabella Weir. Like, mm. and, and last year we had Nick Frost, and it was great. I think I, we had so much fun with him. But I think Greg and Matt, like Matt Lucas, especially. I think I feel like Matt Lucas. I've like, I just feel like he's been in Doctor Who already. I, yeah, I was trying to work it out. Also. Like, I was watching it and I, I was like... I mean, he's, oh, done, he's, he's done a big finish or two, I think, yeah. which he's been great in. But, like, it was so exciting to finally see him in Doctor he's Who. He's made for it. And I loved, yeah. I loved that he played just, like, this sort of sweet boy. Mm. It wasn't even, like, this crazy outlandish character. It was just so nice and seeing yeah. him have fun. So vulnerable yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah, totally. Be, come, come here, it's dark. Yeah. Oh, and I'm like, oh, God, yeah. that's well, horrible. It's, even, it's heartbreaking. Even when... Unfortunately, he gets his, his neck severed. He's yeah. still like just so nice about it. Yeah, like, he's, yeah. Like, so apologetic. Always a bit whiffy down there. Yeah. You know, and all that. But then like Greg Davies, just like a power. Like I mean, yeah, he's this extremely yeah, huge yeah. character playing an extremely huge character, which was perfect. <laughs> I thought it was fantastic. But like, all of the sort of tyrannical raging from inside a bag was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it was <laughs> such so a lovely good. device. Yeah, so good. And I'd also I I think there should be a special mention for the maitre d in the restaurant. Yes. Uh, who I thought was fabulous. He yeah, played he that part so well. And to have like prosthetics all over half of his face and still be so expressive. Lovely little throwaway looks that just yeah. gave it yeah. such yeah. a comic touch. Yeah. I don't know who it was. I want to look them up. Yeah. Like, you know, as Doctor Who has grown and grown and grown and gone from strength to strength. And definitely, I think the presence of Peter Capaldi means that, you know, irrespective of your status as a celebrity, you know, if you get called and invited to be on Doctor yeah. Who, you're going to commit to yeah. however much filming that needs to be done. Because... Yeah. 
like it's got to be the best thing ever. Mm. Oh God, yeah, it yeah. Is. It really I hate you. Yeah. I'm yeah. God. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is great. It is yeah. the best. Oh thing yeah, ever. great. Oh cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's fine. I'm, I'm enjoying it. No, no, I'm really happy for you. It's great. Really cool. 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 Enjoy your life peak that you've now had. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It is all. It is all downhill from here. Afraid to say, uh, there is nothing. There is nothing joyous that can happen. Uh, um, <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, I mean, I'm sure Peter Capaldi and Colin Baker would disagree because yeah. they both went on to become the starring role. So. That is true, yes. Well, there's lots of like really great design in this episode. I thought uh, lots of really lovely, meaty prosthetics. We've had a lot of that in this series as well. Um, the robot looked great. Mm. And also the effects, I think, with the head coming off of the robot was so well mm. done. Um, did you enjoy uh, some of the effects? Yes. Yes, I did. Loved it. Absolutely. Yes. Again, it's another thing, a box that you want ticked on Christmas Day, isn't it? Just like, for like robots taking their heads off and big explosions in the TARDIS. It's and... what you want from a Doctor Who episode. Yeah. You want a big monster. You want a big monster that's like big and chunky. And you want people running scared and you want explosions and you want all of those things that Doctor Who does so well. Um, I think it's such a tribute to the special effects that you just don't question them. Yeah. Mm. You know, at no point you go, well, that, that would have, you know, you just go, oh, okay, mm. cool. You know, and, uh, you just buy into that world. It, and it was so beautiful, I thought, the singing towers. It's just yeah. gorgeous. They mm. did, yeah. I think uh, a favourite particular of mine was the, the pr prosthetic of the guy oh, just opening his head. Yes. How, like, you, yeah. you, you really go, oh, at that, because it looks so real. Yeah. But you yeah. can, like, the sound effect and you can hear yeah. it and the thud as it yeah. goes back is just like, oh. It's a perfect place to keep your wallet when you're swimming. Yeah, like, exactly, yeah. right? For the beach. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No one's stealing that. No, no, no one's stealing yeah. that. Without yeah. noticing. <laughs> I have so much more respect for people uh, with the prosthetics and stuff now having done that. Because, like, in my episode, like, the full face tattoo which everyone assumed was painted on and everyone assumes was like oh no you oh, so you just went and had that paint and I was like no it was a it was silicon prosthetics yeah. like all oh, right well at least it didn't take very long it's like no it, it took two yeah. hours every day um yeah. to put it on and then two hours to take it off at the end of the day and just the amount of commitment that you have to that to... why would you take it off why wouldn't you just go down the shop because I wasn't like... allowed to oh. even go and sit in the canteen with other people oh. I wasn't oh. like, oh. yeah I, I wasn't allowed to go and sit in the canteen with all of the people from casualty because uh, well, they would have wanted to treat you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, especially with all of the burnt face yeah. that I had. Well, I mean, I get the feeling that this is River's big send-off. And I, I also get the feeling that Steve Moffat is starting to tidy up. Uh, and start, He's starting Ooh. to tie up loose ends. You know, obviously, Clara's story has been finished off. I feel like River Song's story possibly, you know, is, yeah. ha has been finished off. Uh, I mean, do you think this in particular was a good sending off uh, for River Song? If, if it if was, it if it off, was yeah. the swan song, I, I thought it was lovely. And I, I thought it's what Stephen Moffat does really brilliantly, actually. And uh, I thought like the end of Coupling was was a brilliant piece of writing. And I, I watched it something like 10 years before I had a child. And um, he was talking about the, the father seeing his baby. And, and he, I don't know if you've seen this, but I know this is a digression, but he says he sort of looks down at the baby in the, you know, in the room and stuff and doesn't really feel anything. That the baby there's a bright light in its eyes so he sort of shields his eyes and i'm just well up now mm -hmm. and the baby looks at him and it was brilliantly sparsely written stuff but just engendered such emotion i remember i had to, I had to watch it for work at the time I, I used to make um promos trailers for tv shows at bbc america uh, in the states and i had to sort of run off to the loos because it was the wind it's just the wind <laughs> and, and it really got me and and i think he he can do that so brilliantly that understated it's very british actually you know, it's not layering on the schmaltz and, and it's all the more potent for that. Just that very light touch, a little bit of wry wit. And, and I, I thought it was a really beautiful send off. River does get to live happily ever after in that yeah. perfect world of the computer hard drive that she eventually gets yeah. loaded up onto. Oh, yeah. Totally, absolutely. absolutely. So yeah, she's, uh, you know, yeah, the only other character that it really becomes immortal like the yeah. Doctor um, mm. that we've had any sort of very real connection true, yeah. to, you know. And I also do love, I was thinking back to, uh, you know, uh, River Song in the library and how mm. that story has now been told. And that story mm. from years and years ago, story, it's, yeah. it's yeah, yeah, it's completely come full circle. And I think that's great that, that that's been, yeah. you know, that story was seeded back then. And that mm. we've, you know, years later, we've actually seen it. Um, yeah. And I think yeah. that was that was great. Yeah, I love that, like, in... in in Silence from the Library when she goes through and she goes, have we done the Crash of the Byzantium? Have we done this? Yeah. Have we done that? And you go, oh, great. And then and at the time, it just doesn't mean anything. And then yeah. and then now, yeah. you know, the I fact like that so many of those were actually mentioned by name yeah. in there. 
now we have to get the journal out and go, oh yeah, we have done that, we've done that, we've done that. <laughs> yeah. And in Silence in the Library, you know, yeah, she's got the, you wore a new, so, new suit, yeah. uh, you gave me a Sonic, we, look, we watched yeah. the Singing Towers, we just saw that. So I think, yeah. mm. you know, as, I'd love to see River popping in and out again I mean, happily, but yeah. I think very much this has, you know, yeah. I mean, it, closed that chapter. It does mean that next Christmas they can go and bring out the River Song Diary with everything Exactly, in it. yeah, totally. Ooh. Which I think which I think they should definitely do. And, totally, yeah. And if they haven't decided to do that already, I will want to cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about Sonics. Uh, River Song gets hers, but also we, we see a, a glimpse of uh, Peter Capaldi's new Sonic. I mm. mean, I was, I was disappointed that we only got a glimpse at the mm. end. Um, it's a good sonic screwdriver. It's amazing, though. isn't I it? I love it. I really like that design. It kind of feels a lot like some of the other design that's been in this series. Um, I know that Armani uh, always turned to the sonic screwdriver to find out what next year's colours are going to be. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> I thought. I also thought. You know, it sort of. It looked to me slightly like. Um, you know, like you see in uh, Argos catalogues. Uh, sort of his and hers watches, you know, <laughs> a chunky one for the guy. You can have a little one, babe. Yeah, little, yeah. It's good enough for you, isn't it? And I, I sort of, oh, you know, yeah. sort of thought she could have done something a bit more oh. beefy, and you know, yeah. Just well done to everyone in the props department for again, like over the course yeah. of this, like especially with partly with the uh, with the Sonic that we were talking about, but also over the rest of the series, like the things like the um, stuff. Uh, the fashion dial. Yeah, there's, mm. there were loads of really nice touch and loads of the the boxes, the Zygon boxes. Yeah, the, yeah, that was good. The one. things, yeah. uh, the fact that some of the stuff in in going back to episode one and two that was that were props that looked exactly like the props from uh, Genesis of the Daleks. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you're seeing these things, and you know the the crew down there who make those things, they are yeah. just wonderful. Part of me is quite excited actually that we didn't get to see that Sonic full on too much. No, it, it's, because then you know it's just yeah. something else to look forward to. Yeah, in yeah, series. yeah. I it's, think it's it's left me hung, hungry for more. Yeah, yeah. Because you know? I mean, we don't even know what it does yet. You know, it no. might be a bit different. It might do different. Different settings. And, yeah. and he's, still, he's still got his I mean, glasses. So long yeah. as it can repair uh, barbed wire, that's all, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm interested <laughs> yeah. in. Hey, it might do wood, this one. Might we do don't wood, know. Yeah. Yeah. Might do yeah, wood. So yeah. I'm excited yeah. to see. Be better at yeah. resonating concrete. Yeah. 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 I was quite relieved not to see the guitar. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. It's just a bit. Yeah. It, it, I mean, the glasses and the guitar are quite... They, I mean, this series was very much his midlife crisis. Yeah. Isn't it? So yeah. it was him, you know, getting a sports car or getting, you know, he got his <laughs> yeah. car and sunglasses. Exactly. Like, you know, cool yeah. Yeah. Someone yeah. It doesn't really yeah. feel him anymore. I don't know. Yes. I mean, I think that increasingly, I think, I mean, since Hellbent, you know, mm. it yeah. feels like that's a. The doctor of the tough doctor of old, I guess. Yeah. You know, it, it's it, we've got a, re, it, a new man, completely different kind of doctor now. I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, how old is he feel, now? It's like, is he? Is How much time has passed? Does the billion, he, yeah. does the billion years yeah. that he spent in the dial go and count, or yeah, does yeah. you know, or is he you know still what's it one thousand two hundred at this point yeah. or two thousand? Yeah, I think yeah, we've lost, we've all lost so. count. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 when you reach a certain age, yeah. you stop. <laughs> <yourself out. laughs> I mean, that's a lot of candles to put on a candle. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It burn with the power of a sun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm not, the wind. not a poet. It's the wind. <laughs> That's the vegan diet, I guess. Uh, it's it's the wind, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's uh, wrap it up there. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you, yes. That's all right, no worries. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back in 2016 for more Silius and things you've created. So if you have anything you'd like to share, email us at dwthefanshow at bbc.com or tweet us at dwthefanshow. See you next year. Bye. 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 <laughs>